it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back on Clover Creek. Um, so the vote uh, to finish the harvest off camera and sell grain on camera won. So I finished off the harvest, so we got the uh, 4440, Unverfer 6500, New Holland TR99, and New Holland 996 header uh, all parked up here as well as the truck and wagon. And then the uh, 84 also finished spreading uh, lime in the middle of the night. So I got him in the yard. Um, our soils are at 5.8 now. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we are going to get the uh, <coughs> get the 84 washed up. And then um, I suppose I should double check that this is turned down. Uh, we'll get the 84 and DN washed up. And then we'll get this guy put on the cultivator and get him started on cultivating uh, the fields so that way we can start planting pretty soon and then also we'll, um, we'll get everything washed up and put away except for the truck and the gravity wagon. Or actually we'll just start selling grain right away here. Um, once we get this 84 going uh, we'll start on that. So, we'll get this put back in here, and we'll get the 82 hooked up to the 2410 here, and get him going. There we go, that'll do. Alright, so we're going to start off with field 31, that alfalfa field. So we want 31, uh, 12.4, I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate. We'll unfold this thing and check it out here. Okay, so let's actually drop that down uh, to 10.9. I'd rather have some overlap than actually we'll go up to 11.4 I'd rather have overlap um, so then we want south southwest heading north with two headlands and our first point will be up here Field work. F31. 24, 10, chisel. Okay, so now we will hop over here to the truck. And we will start on some selling. So I think we'll start off with the wheat. And uh, we'll just kind of see how much we can get sold here. Not exactly sure how much grain we will be able to sell in this video. Um, so let's see, 447, 476, 501, steel feed mill, steel feed mill, okay, so that's basically straight shot over, okay, so <clears throat> we will get loaded up here and head over then.
There's some steel feed mill. If we just hop out over here, take a left, take a right, we'll be up ahead. Alright, and away we go. Fully loaded. So we can hold 52,328. So we can hold a pretty decent amount. I'll keep my diffs on. So yeah, I finished uh, harvest later in the night, and then um, uh, it was about oh no, about nine o'clock, eight thirty, nine o'clock in game time uh, that I finished combining, and then. Um, after that, it was about just about midnight when the 84 finished. <coughs> um, and then, or no, it was just about 11. It wasn't quite midnight. But, uh, yeah, so it was just about 11 when the uh, 84 finished. And then I fast forwarded time uh, to the next morning here to this morning to eight o'clock so so now we are ready to uh, rock and roll try and get ourselves out of the red Let's see if we can get them both to sell at the same time and we can truck seems to be floating. What in the world? <laughs> Not exactly sure why that is. So, how much are we going to get from this load? Nearly $20,000? Dang. We might uh, have a pretty good profit. So, yeah, $26,196. That's pretty dang good actually all right let's head back and do it again let's see so how much do we actually have left so really it's not going to take that much more it'll be a trip and a partial and then I think I think um, you know because like the wheat it'll all whatever's left at the second load it'll all fit inside the truck so then we can take the little bit of barley that's in the bins and put that in the wagon or you know into the truck whatever you know what like the wheat can go into one and then the little bit of barley that's in there can go into the other and then we can just clear out our storage completely because I'm sure with the corn there will probably be you know part where you know, like it's only just partially in the truck and something like that Pretty short drive there. Definitely looks like it'd be longer when looking at the PDA. So once we get this guy filling, I want to actually jump over and look at the uh, alfalfa field and just kind of see what the nutrients are behind the behind the 84. Just kind of see what we're working with in that field. 
That field's probably going to be one of the better ones just because, you know, it's got a crop on it already. Um, I mean, it'll still be okay, I guess, but holy crap, yeah, our end levels are perfect, like, way high. Uh, I am going to have to do another round of uh, lime, I'm guessing, just because it's only at 5.8. But, uh, yeah, so Lime and PK are really all that we super need. And some water, I guess. But N we are perfect on. Can't get much better than that. This thing sure fills fast. Filling out of the bins. <laughs> So we've only got 15,000 left. So like I said, like the wheat, the wheat will, I guess I'll probably just put in the truck since that's what gets up there first. The wheat can go in the truck and then that little bit of barley can go in the wagon and then same with corn. Once, I'm, ass I'm assuming that, you know, like if there's a few thousand liters left, can put that in the truck and then put the canola into the wagon. Um, excuse me just one second. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Auto save. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I had to take that quick pause, I completely forgot to uh, shut off the timer, so it was just kind of running down, which is okay anyways. Um, I'll just record until I'm done selling grain. It'll probably be about a half hour-ish anyways, a little more, but whatever. Jeez, I didn't know need to go that wide, did I? That's not what I want to get rid of. That is. So this truck nearly has 10 hours on it and pretty much all of it is just sitting, running. It's just engine hours, it's not even moving hours. <laughs> Work hours. in and get this load sold make some more money crap I got everything all messed up now so that's emptying and that's emptying there we go that's what I wanted to do I hit it just right, otherwise only one wants to sell. Or empty. So that's a little more money in the bank for us. Definitely not going to be able to do any of the uh, expansion plans that I had hoped to do, uh, equipment-wise, which really I guess that's okay. Um, there's always next season. You know, hoping, you know, next season will pr definitely be a lot more profitable because, you know, one, um, we'll have our nu soil nutrients exactly where they should be all the right herbicides, all that good stuff. 
and two because I'm also going to be planting crops that are worth a lot more than you know the standard crops you know like if we look you know like soybeans those are like fifteen hundred dollars here um yeah you know like they're fifteen hundred dollars at the highest sunflowers you know they're thirteen fifty five at the highest uh rye and oats you know all that stuff is priced pretty well um so you know there's just there's lots of you know all of those crops are worth so much more than you know like the wheat and the barley and corn and canola so especially if you can hit them on a great demand <laughs> here in my mouth uh, you know where it's worth like I don't know upwards of two thousand a ton you know it's just it's definitely worth a lot more and you know usually pretty much on any map that's the case really you know, your multi fruits are always worth way more so we'll go back for our final load of wheat and then we'll figure out let's see the barley what's that going to be worth at steel 470 eh it's not too bad, I guess, you know. Could be worse. But it's only just a little bit of grain. Not too terribly worried about it either. that up with the last of the wheat and then we'll put a little bit of barley in as well let's just go check on this guy see how he's doing he's doing pretty well actually I don't know what the rest of the field looks like I'm kind of scared to find out but that's the only thing with like an articulated tractor on course play is it quite often you know it has more of a tendency to mess stuff up just because, you know, course play it turns so awkwardly with it. So, so we get that little bit of barley loaded up. And away we go. So the corn, um, let's figure that out right away. 405, 406. Ooh. 574 okay so riser grain but they don't take canola okay the canola can just sit in the bin then um, riser grain is that yeah that's the one way up in town so that's a little bit more of a trek but really it's not it's, it's actually not that much of a difference between you know distance to steel feed mill and distance to riser but kind of sucks about the canola there but that doesn't matter that'll just sit in there for a while I guess probably forever <laughs> I don't do canola a whole lot very rarely do I do a canola Had to reply to a message very quick. 
Let's see, so... Uh, I think your YouTube name is Scooby Doobin or something like that. Um, Scooby, uh, I know your Instagram is FS Scooby Games. You're blowing up my phone, holy smokes, man. I know you watch my videos sometimes, I don't know how often and whatnot, but just sitting here getting tons of notifications on Instagram from you. Okay, I just gotta reply to this guy's message quick. Eleven five eighty three. Is it just okay? We're gonna drive through here one more time just because I want to see what the deal is here. Why this truck was in the air? Ah, I see now. Cause on wherever he got this model from, it had a kind of ramp in it. I'm assuming or something like that. I got it. Either maybe... I don't know. That, that would make sense as to why the truck was floating. You can see the blinker light through. <laughs> you see that side? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> that wagon is flying everywhere. That's the only bad thing about these wagons, or the, you know, gravity wagons in general, is they like to uh, do a little bit of a speed wiggle. You get get to driving way too fast, then uh, it'll tell you, "Hey, hello, slow down." <laughs> so now, when we go out, we'll go out past uh, the wheat field and get on the road up there. It's faster than going out the way that we are coming in, and then going, you know, over up. And up. we can just go straight through there instead. So the 84 is still chiseling away. Which is good. Alright, now let's get loaded up with some corn. Let's just take a peek at this guy here. Well, I'm not seeing any spots of anything, so... He's getting it all. That's good. I do want to... Kind of, in a way, want to redo this cultivator. You know, just give it a new AO, new dirt skin. Especially, like, some of these chrome pieces. They're kind of... Like the jack here. That's kind of an odd chrome. And set up weird. I just kind of adjust the scripts on this thing. In a way, I kind of like to make it plow... Because I think in real life this would actually plow, being that it's a chisel. You know, I would that would make the most sense than versus it cultivating.
Come on, truck. You should have the horsepower to get up here. Kind of sucks that I forgot about the multi or the chop straw thing. So that wheat field's just all nothing. That field will definitely have to put uh, NPK and PK. Usually when you do NPK, the PK doesn't really go up that far. The N usually goes up the most, so then you gotta go back with just PK, and which kinda gets annoying, but. Let's see, yeah, I know exactly where we gotta go. It's the elevator that I really, really like on this map. Can't tell, can I actually see it? No, I think it's on the other side of the trees there. Oh, hitting off course. Oh, there it is. Riser green. Uh, this this elevator here is my favorite. I like this elevator. It just looks really really cool. Trigger for that. Trigger for that. Let's shut that off. So I don't have to see that. This elevator is really, really cool. Wow, $30,000. That's pretty dang good there. Of course, a lot of our money is going to be going into, uh, you know, this seed and fertilizer. I think I, yeah, I can still take out a little bit of loan. I don't know how much, but I think I actually did get some of it paid back at one point. Can't remember if I did or not. I must have because we had taken out like seven hundred thousand dollars, and now we're down to four fifty. The only reason I'm worried about, you know, like the loan is, I just don't want to be too far into the red. I don't know how much. I'm assuming we'll have maybe, maybe close to two hundred thousand dollars or so. Because if we get thirty thousand to load, so another thirty, that'd be one ten. Another thirty would be like one forty. I think we maybe have like two, two or three loads left that we can haul. Not sure. Let's see how this goes, I guess. Would kind of be nice to get some equipment to kind of make some bales off all this grassland that we own. But... I don't know, maybe we can just like rent that stuff or something. Just need a tractor, mower, baler. Even if we had like a like a conveyor, like a bale, uh, could get like the Brant auger or something, and um, a mower and forage wagon, and just do some silage. Cause I think I think our truck even hauls silage. Oh, maybe not. So then we could like rent a trailer or something to haul silage, and can sell the silage, cause it's let me look, silage, 1315 at Renut, Renut, so yeah, we could sell it for like $1,400 a ton, so that'd be another way to make some extra cash, a fair amount of it too, I might add. So that might be worth, something worth looking into next season, or you know, even sometime soon, you know, maybe even, well, 
maybe that's what we can do in the next episode. Uh, we can rent a mower and a tractor and a forage wagon, and we can just make a whole bunch of silage. You know, like you can dump chaff into this commodities shed here, so we could fill, you know, fill that pit with as much as we can, and then you, know, you can fill this with as much as I can, and just sit there and you know sell that. That'd be a good way to make some money, some pretty serious cash. You know, I mean, because it's gonna be a while before we can plant or anything and like that. So then you know it'd be some extra money for the seed and the fuel and the up upcoming fertilizers that we're gonna need. Uh, we'll. We'll also have to rent a Mandaco, I think. Uh, that, or maybe we'll rent a sprayer or something. Probably just rent a Mandaco because um, with the DN, I can just spread. You know, I don't have to get any more equipment uh, to put down the PK and stuff. So then, for the water, we can just rent a Mandaco land roller, hook it up to the 84, and you know, work away with it. See, I think that's what we do, we'll do, you know, we can even mow, like, this big section. What the world was that? I have absolutely no idea. It sounded like some pickup or something revving. But yeah, like, you know, we don't own this field, but we could still mow it. You know, we could talk to the guy that owns it and say, hey, you know, kind of a little short on cash kind of trying to make some silage to sell and you know are you using that field if not mind if I mow it and then you know we got fields 38 and 36 those are our fields that are grass and so we can cut those so you know when I talk about you know getting like a tractor and mower you know it'd probably be like maybe one of these in-game tractors you know like Maybe the T8 320, rent that for a few hours, rent, you know, this front mower for a few hours, and then, you know, like, maybe this wagon or this wagon, something like that, for a few hours. You know, just something that, you know, can mow at a pretty decent rate and can pull, you know, the big, bigger trailer, because I would rather have a little bit bigger of one because you can get some more capacity into that. So I think that's what we'll do in the next episode here. Um, is we'll just, you know, kind of be working on that. There we go. That'll definitely be a good way to make some money. And so that's to the farm borough. Where is that? Ooh, that's a... That's a long haul, but it definitely be worth quite a bit of money. I don't think I have any like grain trucks or anything that would haul silage. You know, which would make sense. Because grain trucks don't usually haul silage. But could rent, you know, like I have some trailers that I've never tried out yet. Uh, these guys here, these Richard Westerns. I'll have to try them off camera and make sure that they hold silage, but those could be good ones. Or even like a sugar beet mesh trailer thingy. Dump trailer. Something. This isn't going to quite be 110, is it? Not quite. Nose hurts. Let's see how long are we at right now? 23, so. Oh, yeah, that was up to 110. Alright. So we have not quite a full load. Is that what it is? Yeah, not quite a full load. Uh, it'll be full truck and then a partially full wagon. So I guess even if uh, canola was taken at this elevator, we wouldn't be selling it anyways, so I guess that kind of works out pretty well.
because we're going to be doing tillage for quite a while here. I have a feeling. It's got quite a lot of land to till and not the biggest of cultivators. It's definitely bigger than our cedars though. Planting, like especially the soybeans, that's really going to take a long time. Because the beans will be planted with the John Deere planter and then the but the rest of the crops, those will all be planted with the drill. Which really isn't that much bigger than the John Deere, but. Because there's the drill and there's the John Deere. But, you know, you gotta start out somewhere. You don't start out with, you know, millions of dollars worth of equipment right away and, you know, all the land that is in the area. So you just kind of got to build yourself up, which is exactly what we will do. This guy is doing pretty well. Uh, can you not go any faster? Ooh, there's a big uneven spot in the field. Holy smokes. <laughs> Definitely think he forgot to smooth that out. We will have to... I'd like to smooth that out, but then I'll have to do all kinds of stuff with the save game then. Just gotta watch it when we combine, I guess. When we work the field. Alright, last little bit of corn. Heh, <laughs> 8,000 liters. Okay. Definitely not very much going into that wagon. So this will probably be like a $20,000 load. 20, you know, like somewhere between 20 and 20 is what I'm gonna guess so I think um, off camera you know I'll finish up the I'll let course play finish up that alfalfa field and get him started on the wheat field and then I'll kind of start on the mowing, um, just kind of get a little bit of a start on it. Uh, I'll maybe do like a couple of loads or something. Just like cut open maybe one of the sections or something like that. Or actually, you know, I could actually just record another video of this and have it ready. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, so scratch everything I just said. So in the next video, we'll be renting that tractor, mower, and, you know, a loading wagon, forage wagon, whatever. And then we'll be working on some selling, or some silage, not selling. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, that'll definitely help to make some money. then we can rent a, like I said, rent a brant auger, because I know that'll auger silage. So then can use that. I'll have to try it out on chaff, too. Because if it works with chaff, then, you know, if we can find a trailer that works with chaff, once we empty all the silage out, we can just work on, you know, getting that next set fermented right away. So this is going to be, I'm, I'm guessing 20 to 25, that's my guess. <laughs> These textures are kind of messing with me. They like move, it's weird. But this is a really, really cool elevator. And the verdict is, we're still selling. Still selling. Yeah, 20,000, 21,000. 21,367. So that's really not bad. For as little amount of grain as we had, that's. We got a pretty good amount of money, I think. Definitely wish it could have been better, but. It is definitely nice, you know, in a way nice to have a map where when you start out, you know, that has soil mod on it anyways, that where when you start out, you know, your fields aren't all perfect. You know, normally when you start a map that has soil mod, 
you know, your pH is you know, 6.4 where it should be, your soil moisture is 50 whatever, 50, 60 whatever it is, uh, per some odd percent that, you know, is right where it should be, and, you know, your N is right where it should be, PK right where it needs to be, and, you know, your weed fields are free of weeds, and, you know, so it is kind of nice in a way that this map, you know, starts out pretty poor, but in a way it's not. So that 84 is just chugging away. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I will get this thing parked, get all the machinery uh, that's here cleaned up and put away. And then get ready for uh, uh, the silage stuff. Uh, I'll just kind of let that 84 keep running. And let him get some work done. Damn, that's the button I need. So, yeah guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs as well as my upload schedule. Plus links to my social medias and other cool YouTube channels that are worth... Er, my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. I promise you guys one of these days I will get that down pat. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up and, uh, continue on with some work. Thanks for watching you guys. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow.